All right, here is the cart elevator. Basically what it is, is kind of the guts from a marble run chain lift. Um, I took the motor out of the housing, uh, 3D printed a new uh, custom motor mount that fits it really nice and snug. And then another upper axle here. And then I kind of mounted it on this temporary um, cross stand and got it all tightened up. And then the idea is that cartridges uh, get funneled in from um, the chute, uh, which comes out of the conveyor belt. And they come into here, they slide into this thing. And I'm gonna go over all of, this is the very first iteration and there's a ton of things that need to get fixed. But I figured I'd uh, do a video of them to kind of document the process. So they come into there. This ideally doesn't bend outwards and it sits right there, okay? Now this will just be uh, supplemented with power from the PLC, but for now I'm still using a little handheld controller. And then we'll have a bunch more of these little custom lift things. Comes under there, scoops it, lifts it all the way up, and then does that ad infinitum. So a couple of the issues. One, you heat, listen closely. There's a knocking. Now what I believe that knocking is, is on uh, the spoke, which I'm using the original spoke from the kit because it's nice and plastic injection molded, very sturdy, um, is there's a square hole in there and a, and a round axle. Um, and I believe that the sound is the square hole essentially knocking and settling over every time it comes over center onto the round axle. So I'm going to create a square to round um, adapter uh, to make that axle hole round. Uh, that should eliminate the knocking and I think there's a lot of additional friction because of that. Um, another issue is that this alignment is really sensitive. So I had to play with these uh, screws locking it into the 2020 uh, aluminum extrusion to kind of get this um, distance really nice so that the cart lift uh, little scoops perfectly come up in between the slot without hitting because if it e nicks even a little bit, it uh, loads it up like a spring and goes boing and kind of like shoots the cartridge out, which is bad, obviously. Um, another issue, which is one that I kind of briefly demonstrated is this, where it bends these outwards. I just made these walls too thin, so I'll thicken those up. Oh crap. Um, uh, another issue is that sometimes these tips are thin enough that they fit right through the end stop of the, um, I'm calling this the lift cue, just like that. And it works uh, only if there's one in the chute though. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Basically if um, there's another one backed up behind it, it pushes it hard enough to lift it up. Then it does that, which is interesting and kind of neat, I guess, but uh, probably not ideal for long term because two come out, they could get stuck, they could fly off, bad for business. So um, I'm going to play with the distance of this end stop, uh, maybe just assume that all of them are going to come down and go through it like that and then see if ones that go backwards against it, even though they're like way back here or you know, still have kind of the um, necessary distance to get... Um, you know, enough of the scoop underneath it to lift it up properly. Might have to extend this, uh, the scoop length. Um, and then basically I'll print like 20 or 30 of these and space them um, much more regularly all over the chain here. And these are just three little 3D printed parts that snap on. Um, the ones that came with the kit obviously are for marbles and so I needed to redesign that. So yeah, uh, pretty cool though little proof of concept. Um, now I just need to do the fixing of the problems and then retest and just chase down problems until there are no problems. Yeah.